All right, y'all. Welcome to PS Panic Room. You know how we do every week, man. We bring great guests, man. Had a lot of fun. This week ain't no different, man. One of my favorite comedians and, and persons. Took a while to get to that point, but it's my nigga. You know, I'm gonna go. <laughs> this is my boy right here, man. Um, I, it's funny how you know somebody, but you don't know really even their breadth of work, man. I did a little research on. Them. I was kind of blown away, man. So we're gonna sit here and uh, sit down and talk to one of the. One of them, I think one of the most misunderstood comedians, man, in my generation. And I call him my hero because you know, people say, like, why are you here? You know what I'm saying? But no, how he rolls with what he does, man, I really respect. Give it up for the one and only Mr. Faison Love! Hey, that's what I'm talking about, boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I have a seat. Yeah, I have a seat. I know. I know. I know. All right. We're going to do like we do on the phone, brother. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. We're going to talk shit, man. First of all, brother, I want to thank you for coming here. And I like you, I like, I like you. I'm a little get up, right? I'm a little get up, you know what I'm you're saying? On, you're on the road to the new shit. Something. Uh, yeah, something, it's man. It's the new shit. Yeah, 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 man. Because, you know, Hollywood be trying to hold us back, don't let us do what we want to do and shit. So I'm like, man. Ain't no more Hollywood. I know that's right. I Ain't know no that's right. Uh, they, exactly. It shouldn't be. This yeah. Is, uh, yeah, this is a new. This is what it is right now. Right. Get your right. IP address and go. There it is. There it is. Yeah. No, no, no. Real yeah. talk. Real talk. Look at all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a crew and shit. Got a little, you know, got to keep yeah, it sexy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is, yeah. Well, well I got to, you know what's funny? I try to make sure I ain't want to come low budget, but I hear. It ain't no, it ain't no budget. I just about to say. about no budget. I just about to say. So people tell me, it ain't, it ain't about, about that. about no budget. Right, right, right. It's right, about right. the content. That, I, 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 I'm people about to say. People looking at love. Okay, what you saying? Man? Right, right. No, no, that's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah, okay. No big ass cameras. This you shoot this shit with an iPhone. Well, you right. Well, we ain't shooting an iPhone up here. Dude. No, I hear you can't. That camera's better than that. <laughs> Hell no, it's better not when I'm paying for them cameras. You crazy as shit. But you know, I think about you, man. Well, first of all, I tell you what, I think it's so dope, man. That like you are loved by the hood and the suburbs. White folks fuck with you, do? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Usually your personality seems like it wouldn't be going with them white folks. But you don't. No, nah, man, for real though, dude. dude. I think we had this conversation back in the early nineties. Okay, okay, okay. You okay. know, uh, you were saying, um, I don't know who was at the table with us. Uh, wing spot on Peachtree. Don't go there, man. Right? Oh yeah, no, we, <laughs> we, 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 we almost got in the hands of that. Thing. <laughs> but you know, we would eat there every right every day. Okay, right, 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 right. We used to do a comedy club called Atlanta Comedy uh, Comedy no, Theater. In, yeah, yeah. yeah and right. Back in the nineties, my man Michael Williams ran the club, so he would fly comedians out like two at a time, yeah. and we stay a little little uh, uh, what do apartment. you call it? a little apartment <laughs> yeah. in right yeah. in the right in the hello <laughs> area and shit. But it wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. You know, yeah, I noticed it. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I noticed it. I, I was like, <laughs> right, right, right. My, 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 my things was up, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but so, so we ate at a wing place where we used to walk around and go eat the up. Sports bar was right, right there. We right. would walk over there, and um, I don't know who was at the table with us, and they were saying they changed their act depending on where they are. Right, I'm right. Saying, Why right. would you do that? Right, 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 right. Because, because white people won't. It's like no, mom. Right. They, they, they're buying you. Right. That, 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 there you go. That's true. They buying you. Whatever you are, <laughs> that's what they, people going to fall in love with that. True. So this whole made up shit of. Having uh, to do something that you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's fictional. But, 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 but what, what do you tell a young comic who's starving or somebody who ain't, it ain't working for them that route? Then they see, they see someone else like Chappelle or they see someone like see, Cat they, Williams. They, 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 that's the whole problem. These young comics, they. Have you ever heard somebody um, say, hey, I want to play football and go straight to the pros? No. And that's the problem. They don't do none of the shit we did. Right. We played in the minor leagues. We right. played in the um, uh, uh, C uh, League, Pop G Runners, League. Yeah, yeah, all right, 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 right. Like, because we love doing this shit. Right, right. They want to go straight to Carson. <laughs> Oh, shit, like, yeah. why ain't on cars here? Motherfucker, you ain't got seven minutes. Right, right, right. So, you let me put, you're putting together seven minutes. Right, sure. Five they ain't minutes. never did no shit like that. Right. So, they want to go, they want to be famous. Right. You know what I'm saying? They want to be famous. They want to, um, we wanted to just do, I was just happy doing what I was doing. And then they would pay me because it was better than doing what the other shit I was doing. But, right, but we had gatekeepers that wouldn't let us get, didn't let us get through. You know, NBC, CBS, an agent or whatever, a, a producer. Really gay. It was, well, like, I mean, it was like, okay, look. Back then, if you went on Johnny Carson. Okay. 
or Arsenio. But, but let's get before that. You had to perform at a club, and then the white folks had to come see you and say, we want you on Johnny Carson. Remember, we'd be like 10 of us no, performing. But, but they and would, then he, you know what they would do? What they do? That's how Chappelle is give you a deal, a television deal. So they used to, they used to come to the clubs and go, we're going to give him a um, television deal. Million dollar television deal. Right, right. I That's why tell, Chappelle is called the pilot boy. Right. Because he has so many pilots that didn't work out. Right, right. But back, but, but right, but back to the gatekeeper. I felt like I remember times when they would say so and so from 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 the Johnny yeah. Carson or Arsenio is coming down to look at comedians. You had eight comedians to go up because yeah. you know Michael Williams or whoever ran the club would pick out the eight or ten comics they wanted, yeah. and then they say, okay, we want that comic or this comic here. Yeah. That's a gatekeeper. Now these young cats can go right to the internet and make themselves stars. So if we had that same internet, wouldn't we have bypassed that junk too? We'd be like, well, we, we, we would suck maybe, though. Huh? We would suck though. Okay, okay, we okay. Would suck. So, so you, are you blaming them? You can't blame them for sucking because we would have sucked no, too. No, they, what it is is the form has, it's not an art form anymore. Okay. It's just a, uh, it's a placebo. Okay, big words, but I'm going to break it. Oh, whoa, wait, like hey, jacking hey, himself hey. off. Like, <laughs> You saw me here? You saw me? I got 13,000 right. likes. Right, 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 right. Give us a f. Right, 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 right. Did you make a real motherfucker laugh? Right, right. The talent. Because they go like this. Ah, ah, ah. Swipe up. Wow. Have they put played your shit and said, nigga, I'm going to watch that shit again? All right. Out of all the young comics that you see out here on the social media, is any of them you dig? You dig any of them young cats? No. no, Not really? Because, you know, a couple of them I, I mess with. Because I don't really have a problem with the young cats who put the work in. Like, like Country Wayne put the work in. I don't he, get him still. I'm like, what the fuck is he? I was watching these sketches. Like, I don't... They don't understand a sketch has an opening, middle, and a close. This nigga just talks. No, no, come on, be fair. I'm, I'm, car, looking, I'm looking at it. I'm but, like, but sometimes a car will pull up, and he'll talk with the girl, and, and then the car pulls away, whatever situation happened in the middle. It does have a beginning. A car pulls up, and he's shooting dice with the boy. I saw one of them, he said, hey, baby, I owe you, you want some money? You want some money? Well, want- it started some way, right? He walked up to the girl. But what? what's, what's the tag? Uh, okay, okay, well, maybe not a tag, but... That's what I'm saying. See, they don't even know what a tag is. So they're not being taught properly. So I really can't blame him. I'm like, right, right, see, right. when I say tag, you say, oh, yeah, don't go to tag. Well, right, I mean, it doesn't have a tag, but it, if, it's... If funny. I watch right. Damon Wayne, Okay. And he do... Um, um, homie the Clown? Homie the Motherfucking Clown? Mm-hmm. So I have an open, a middle... The character is one thing. Then he's gonna be like, "Hey, y'all, today I'm he- helping out." Right, right, with the right, right, right. That's a skit, right, right. That, but that's what that's what he's doing. Skits without right. tag. Well, two things. First of all, he's by himself. He's the one writing. I asked. I talked to him. I had him on the show. He writes himself. Right well, you know, Homie the Crown got four or five writers. No, and Living Color, that, and Color had writers. No, no, that came from Damon. Not every line. Yes. Man, let me, let me call that. Damon, you, Damon, you, come on the show and tell you me what you said. <laughs> That's, they was, he was doing that before the, hit. that was a part of his comedy. No, game. no, Homie the Clown was, by, by Paul Mooney, Paul Mooney came up with Homie the Clown while he was hired for the show. No, I remember that, yes, no, yes, they hired Paul Mooney no, for the show, the first that, season. 100 bucks. Uh, you heard that, 100, 100 that bucks. Paul Mooney came up with, with Homie the Clown and gave it to Damon Wayne as the character, and Damon Wayne did it from there. Nope. All right, y'all saw the 100 bucks, all right, we're going to move on. Dude, I need, I need, I need the where, pockets, run them pockets, that, nigga. That's, that's where the more money came from, remember the more money, more okay, money. Okay, that's a different character. He had a bunch of them. But Homie the Clown, we talk about Homie the Clown. But I'm what? telling you, I used to have to follow it's this It's on tape for 100 bucks. I need my money. Run that bucks, money. Run that money, face. 100 bucks. We do yeah. that shit all the time. Right, right. Bucks. Uh, all the camera. You tell all the one in front right there. Yeah, you tell that one too. Yeah, all right. He, but, he, um, okay, so. But we I'm not dissing the boy. I'm just saying, I don't get it. Right. So when somebody says, look at this country one right. thing, I'm like, what the is he doing well also okay now okay you're a vet so you're at least 50 you've been around for a long time mm-hmm. these young kids that he's appealing to don't care about that now right so why are you mad that's that you're mad but why what's wrong with he's he's servicing no, no, his I'm crowd saying, i'm they're saying look at this right now you done fucked off my time looking at the bullshit <laughs> oh god damn right. like what is he doing no. i can go look at anything they're looking because they haven't been serviced with real comedy well, they have so they, they've seen it. They've no, seen this come they up. they see with their increments of of bullshit, and they. They're, oh, you mean the audience haven't been served with real cards? Yeah. Oh, I didn't the talent. Like, oh, this this is what it is. Right. Like people think Dave Chappelle created that form. Right. Right. Like, right. That's Flip Wilson, nigga. You oh know? yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that's what I'm saying because they don't know the education. 
So well, it's like if if the, if if I was wrong, here's what, and this is why um, I would hear Country Wayne's name at at the cracker spots. Really? Let me explain something. Hold, 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 hold. What, what, what's you mean white? Okay, so he he plays he plays the improv and he plays he the plays comedy the zone. Improv, but they, they you don't hear crackers going. Hey, uh, uh, okay. we gotta make a movie. Uh, okay, we white people. Country <laughs> right, right, right. It's country <laughs> white is out of the. Well, well, hold on. He ain't got to that level. It, it's moving up mean? though. <laughs> it's moving up. It went where? But 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 okay. There was a time when people didn't I, know. I saw a million likes on the thing. Right. That is subscription worthy. Right. Right? So I'm like, that's why I was looking So you act like white folks got to pick you first before you that's make it. That's not what I'm saying. What you saying, Faison? What I'm saying is it's a universal appeal. That's what you told me. Okay, okay, but. I have a universal appeal. You do, you because do. Because I'm very straight through what I do. But when you're not straight through, right. people go, what the, fuck are you, what the fuck is he saying? So you think he's doing something he's not? I'm saying he's. That's just who he to, is. Uh, that's he who he needs, is. No, no, I'm saying he needs to study what the fuck he's doing and then perfect it. He thinks he's there. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I think he's there for what he does. There's nothing else he can do. He does. He does characters. He does to me open to me ending. You characters, right? To oh. me, they're like a character is uh, not one dimensional. Well, you're getting heavy now. Now, now, now you. Now we got. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> well, like what, what's that show when that when that white dude was talking? Which part do mud bone? Okay. He can do it at a drop of the dime. And he can, and he can without any. Did Martin do characters? Yeah. Okay, no, I, I, I know. I'm saying he did. I ain't saying, but I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I thought car- character was something different than you, yeah. voice and all that. Well, Country Wayne yeah. does different than him. He does, he does, he does the the the, Not the, really. the drip. If he they does. All country, then they, well, I was, you crazy? I I I hear you. I hear you. Well, some of the young cats I, I mess with because I see what they're trying to do. They are listening. At least they call me up and ask me some advice and stuff. That's so I good. do appreciate. Yeah, I do. You know, they call me up from the young cast and say, "Yo, P, this, that, the other." DC Young Flies is a mm-hmm. good young. Now some guys out here just being ridiculous. You know, they just put a wig on and, and call it a day. And she's like, "What the hell is that?" You know, that's the same character. All you do is female voices. Like, all right, man, come on. But I think some of the other cats do it. But all right, let me ask you something. Let, let, let's move back to you. Some you started this game with like 15 years old, man. Yeah, 15. in San Diego. Yeah, San Diego. Yeah. That ain't a hotbed comedy city, boy. Yes, it is. Was it San Diego? Man. Who is that? Who came out of San Diego besides Nick, you and Nick Cannon? No. Yeah. Nick Cannon came out of San Diego. Yeah, Nick Cannon. Okay. My Y'all too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so oh, you live in a tough neighborhood then? <laughs> you ain't living in the hood. Go to San Diego, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Everybody about the railroad tracks or something? Uh, I yeah, I know. I know a railroad I tracks. Do, so. I <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take you sometime. <laughs> let, me, let me drop you off with a dip. <laughs> let's, go, let's go back to Smokey's. Let's, let's go back to Smokey's. To oh, yeah. Smokey's Smoke was a little hood spot. That, yeah. that, that, my man used to bring, uh, bring all He's a basketball player or something, former basketball Smokey player. Smokey was a coach. A, co- a coach. That's Smokey what he called. Games, he passed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did he pass, man? Yeah, Smokey passed. He was all right, man. You know who brought me down there? She passed who? Simply Marvelous. Simply Marvelous. Let me tell you something. We went from L.A. to there. We had, we had to drive down to Long Beach, and me, her, and they took a limo. With a limo. For, hold on, right from there to San. Hold on to San Diego and back. That is a round trip of about four to five hours, right? And we had to perform, and she gave us seventy five dollars. Yep. That half a note down, well, she probably got more seventy five per comic. What? what Come on, man. Not, it, see, this was it, that's what I'm saying. This was the early time. Yeah, Smoke paid him to get everybody three hundred bucks. <laughs> Right, right. She had to break it off, like you know, oh. seventy five. Oh, you think so? Yeah. yeah I think I, I think he gave about six hundred, and she gave she gave out three <laughs> two hundred dollars. Was, was, was it cheap? Oh, niggas, <laughs> the, Smokey was cheap as a Back then, it wasn't really about the money. It, it, our money, right? It was about perfecting the craft. It was trying about, to work on your craft. Hey, I'm about to go say, yep. I'm gonna blow this out the water. That's true. And uh, I remember me, and <laughs> I remember taking that up with you. Me, you got into it. No, 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 oh. no. We went down there to. Um, of course. In, in a limo, and, um, you know, uh, I think Jamie, that's where Jamie first got on stage at. Yep. I was there when Jamie first I believe, got on yep, stage. Jamie Foxx, yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. He was a beast. And we, you know something funny about Jamie Foxx? A was, beast. I had moved. I had moved. Jamie has characters. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I that, want, that ugly girl shit right. was before Living Color. Right, right, I get that. That's what I'm saying. But but he did some coach. He did the coach. Well, that, okay, exactly, son. Right, right. All that right, shit. Right, right, right. Oh, that shit's fucked me up. Right, right. He was funny with it. He was funny with it. Yeah. Because I, he, you know, it was it was dimensions to it. He he had that thing about his, his grandmama. 
Anybody walk like that got to have AIDS. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I think I remember that. I think I, I, think anybody, I remember that. Uh, his grandmama said uh, she think everybody got AIDS. Anybody who looked like that got to have AIDS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kept, he kept repeating it about anything. Everything, it, was, everything. it was a callback. Right, 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 right. So it was just, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy. Uh, These kids, all day, they like, this nigga was... What they say, he hating. No, motherfucker, I've been through this. Right. Shit. And I'm going to ask you about that. Do you think, because I know you better now. I mean, we, we've gone, we rocked out for about 20-some years. Do you think, I think you're one of the most misunderstood dudes, man. No, it's just niggas don't understand because they want to <laughs> talk shit. And then I'm like, look, I'm with the hands, too. Right, right, right. I'm with the hands, too. You, we can step outside and do it. You know me, but right, man, right, you right. were getting into it like A couple look, times. A couple times. So God, like, Lord, man. I ain't got no... That yeah. San Diego bringing up yeah. comes out. It's like, look, blood, let's go outside. So, but these niggas want to talk shit and hide. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving my opinion based on shit I've been through. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I say I was talking uh, uh, about the gang life, I'm like, how the fuck they have blood? Or you ain't never been to, you dying for a street you ain't never been right, to? Right, 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 right. What the fuck is that? Right. I'm from the street, nigga. I'm from that street. So how are you that nigga? Well, all right, that's true. Okay, but but let me ask you: Do you do you think you bring too much of your a bully mentality to this shit, man? No, these niggas is just wimps. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be mad at that one. <laughs> that's, yeah. If you if you ever listen to, not Paul Mooney, but um, Dave, remember um, uh, D uh, David Banks? Of course, David Banks. Oh, yeah. David yeah, Banks yeah. would call me. See, people don't understand. Paul Mooney did right. But David Banks, David Banks right. wrote more right, right. for Richard David Pryor. Banks and Paul Mooney wrote stuff for Richard Pryor. Just for David those of Banks those. was yes. the one that yeah. Richard got that street shit from. He was right. a, uh, a bus driver, and Richard fell in love with the nigga. Like, right. man, you rolling with me. Right. But the nigga Rolls Royce, and they was rolling, doing cocaine, doing right. white Right, right, right. Pretty much a normal <laughs> Hollywood thing back then. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. So Richard Pryor would get into fights like that. Um, and, and Red Fox is the oh, that damn Richard Pryor one. Right, right, right. Right, right. I remember. Um, you got some of that in you, nigga. You like to fight a lot of niggas. You, Fox, you wanna... No, no, no. Younger, yeah. When we were younger, it was more. Let me tell you real quick a story about me and this nigga on fought some shit. We was in a car. I was we in Miami. I'm gonna tell you. Remember, remember you this, we were in Miami with a guy named Nate. He, he, he had a, he had a 180 club, a 186 or one, oh 197, God, 187, right, whatever, nigga, some club. Nigga, so we in Miami going. I had a fiance at the time. Okay, this fool is in the front seat. The driver, you know, Nate's driving. Me and my fiance in the back seat. And that song, "Bitch Better Have My Money," came on, and they bleeped out the bitch part. He's like, "It better have my money." This motherfucker. Bitch! <laughs> bitch! I was like, my, my, my fiance looked at me and I'm like, come on, man, come on, Faison. I got my woman with me. That's e Nate even said, Nate's like, Faison, you know, that was on the song. I'm just singing the song, this song and singing the shit. I'm like, come on, was man. I, was it, was it? Hell yeah, he was like, yeah, bitch! And yeah. I was like, come on, man. I said, I said no, nah, man, you ain't doing that. He was like, man, what yeah, you trying yeah. to do? We got an argument, they pulled over. So you came around the car, tried to snatch my door open. My girl held me back and shit, and Nate tried to stop it and shit. I was like, come yeah. on, nigga. You was a wild dude. You, that you was Fugazi so, for that move right there, man. That was wrong. Yeah, all right. What, nigga? What? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> it, but, <laughs> but you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you know, know, you know, that's you, though, nigga. That's who no, you it, were. Come it on. It ain't me. Well, it was you. That was, that was 21 years ago. But you got your reputation. You, 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 you whooped somebody's ass in the them. The like, airplane. Listen, they I mean, talk airport. this shit. I'm like, listen, you see Walk how I travel. Walk away. No, no, you see how I travel, right? <laughs> right. Solo. Most, if, if Cat Williams' bitch ass would have came here, right. he would have came with 17 niggas. Okay. Y'all wouldn't have said shit. <laughs> oh, right, okay. right? I don't know, but okay. Oh, I mean, now we wouldn't have said that because Cat Williams. Y'all would have hey, make room for right. these guys. Right, right. right? Y'all right. would have made room for them. I come here, I travel by myself. I did, okay, right. Right? Well, look how big you is, nigga. It shit. don't matter. The oh, fuck, you ain't no cat cat ring about that big, nigga, okay? It don't matter. I know niggas that big. Right. That murder motherfucker. Yeah, well, okay. okay. That niggas is scared of. I ain't never seen AJ AJ Johnson running around with a whole bunch of. Well, he can't afford nobody running around right now. No, but he. he, he <laughs> nah, fuck, I like AJ. He's a straight nigga. <laughs> nah, AJ, my man. He's a straight nigga. He crazy, yeah. but right. I'm saying I feel you. that size shit ain't got nothing to do with it because it's a nigga out there for my ass. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, you ain't met you ain't met him. I I done got my ass whooped before. What? Man, what was this? I've been fighting a long time. <laughs>
Since you've been doing comedy, to Mike, to Mike. Oh, no, no, no. All right, then. You've been doing comedy since you were 16, nigga. Yeah. A five year old fight don't count, mother. <laughs> no, I'm talking about, you know, you know when you're grown. in school, there was a nigga named Boo Boo. I used to fight every day. Damn. Now, you, you done had, you, well, you had to, you done had beef with a lot of people. You, Cat, Cat Williams. Now, Cat Williams, I'm hearing you had to beef with him because he took you off the tour. No. And, shit, and he said no. you felt you owed him some money. No, that bitch some... took me off the tour and told motherfuckers I died. What? <laughs> Hold up. So the tour kept going. And it, when he would go to, a, go to a city, he would say, oh, Faison uh, died. But even if he had his funeral here, it wouldn't fill, sell no tickets. Oh, come on. It, it, See, this bitch, he's oh, a bitch. Yeah, that, that, that ain't cool. So then he pulled a gun on, on me on that bullshit. Right. He, I don't know why you guys, he's a one trick pony. You guys, I was like, this is. Wait, town. No, he's a funny dude now. Come how? On. Ain't no how. It might, no, he, he, how? He makes funny jokes. He tells funny, clever. He talks about politics. He, he, he talks about relationships. First of all, he, he stole this nigga name. Uh, oh, my God. I can't believe, forget my nigga's name. My nigga in. Um, uh, Cat in the No, no. I remember. Ohio? He, no, no. He in. Um, he doing time right now. Um, oh damn, Vince uh, Champ, Mac Minister, Mike Minister. Oh, Mac Minister. I remember Mac Minister. Oh yeah, the rapper. Yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. he got his whole shit from. Really? Yeah. Because I remember him being Captain. Mac in the Minister hat. was a real pimp. Right, right, he right. Met Mac Minister, and he changed it from Cat in the Hat right. to Pimpin', 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 which is okay, nigga. All right, whatever. I get it. You. You're the street nigga now. We both supply. <laughs> what how was it? Shit. Yeah, all right. Well, a midget is a pimp. You looking up to hoes. So you're stupid with that one. <laughs> I, I heard that one. I never well, had a midget girl, but bitch, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. But let me ask. Okay, but you went on tour with him before. I he mean, so stole. why, why no, was y'all cool then? No, 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 no. I because I had no problem with him. But he still stole Mac Minister's thing. Mac Mac Minister's. But I knew that. And why would you be cool with him then if he did that? Well, why is it beef now? I didn't say we have a beef because Nigga, we just called him a bitch. Oh, what okay. did I say? Oh, what did I say? Okay. I said we went on tour. <laughs> I went here all this. <laughs> we went on tour. Right. We went, we right. Went on I tour. get it. Okay, so that's the reason. That's a good reason, and, man. And he uh what happened was when we were on tour, I was smashing him. He right. couldn't follow me. Oh damn, okay. He started doing push ups and shit. And <laughs> remember that shit? So people, it, people work out before they get on. No, not on stage. Oh wow! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember he did do some push up on stage. Once. Yeah, because he couldn't. He had nothing to say. All right. He forgot I was strong on the mic. Right. A lot of these motherfuckers, y'all be hearing y'all doing y'all little interview and y'all be forgetting phase on really do this shit. Oh no, you're a beast with it now. But they you're they beast, probably act like it. I don't exist. No, no, like no, I don't, no, like no. niggas act like they don't know. I'm like oh, well, whatever. I'm just, you know. So got that, that J Cole feeling right now. You know, J Cole say you, I gotta show you sometimes. I gotta oh, show yeah, you my oh, shit. No, no, no. I'm thinking for. 35, I'm getting tired. Like, nigga. Right, right. So, Cat Williams act like he didn't know. Like, oh, you thought this was a game? Right, right. Putting you, put you on the show. I was say some big worm joke. <laughs> right, right, no. right. No. So, he got mad because he couldn't follow me. Damn. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. And that's why he just took you on the tour for that? Just to Yes. That's not cool. How many days did y'all done before that? We had did three. We had did Damn. one. Damn, that, that was quick. That was, <laughs> we did one, one in um, Phoenix, right? one in um, Vegas, and one in Cincinnati. And since one in Cincinnati, uh, me and Michael Blackson, uh, the, the, he was like, I, I face on, you mind hosting? Because I, I, I. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll host. That's still right. totally for me. Right, right. So, and Michael did his shit. You know what I'm saying? That's when Michael was really fresh with it. You right, know what right, right. So, um, the new African, new <laughs> African at that time. <laughs> Straight fresh off the boat for real, but go ahead. <laughs> um, so he took you off at the third, at, at that show there, Cincinnati show. This is what, what he did. And my black and I, I don't know if you, you don't know them, mm -mm. but uh, we're in the room and uh, Cat Williams says, uh, who approved this? Cause I think it was 10,000 uh, a show. So who approved this ten thousand dollars? <laughs> I was like, "What you mean? You know, that's, that's what the deal was." Man. What are you? Right. He says, "I I don't know if we're gonna do that tonight." Ooh. And you already done it two nights before, two shows yeah, before. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, he fucked with the wrong dude. Right. Right. Of course. So, he's just, yeah, mm -hmm. I said, so I tell Black, "It's a Black. Get this motherfucker on the phone. He don't. He don't stand with them thirteen niggas. He got. He will get straight." <laughs> It'd be, a good, it'd be a good tussle, right? Well, I know that's right. So he stand up, uh, he's at a penthouse or whatever. He goes, he summons me. I was like, oh, he want me to come up there? Let's go up there. 
<laughs> we right. go up there. <laughs> this nigga wants some water. It's so stupid. We, we go up there, and you know, it's all these sea looking bitches around. Oh, come on, man. See? I seen some. Man, I, I never seen them with a bad bitch. Not, not, not even B plus? No, they're always C looking bitches. Mm-hmm. And then Lena's got his back all right. the time, which right, is dope. Right. right. Um, so I was seeing with these run, with these runaways, mm-hmm. and uh, he's holding court. And the next time, I'm like, fuck all that. What's up with the money? Well, we didn't. I didn't approve. Listen, bro. Didn't approve the money. He Good. said he didn't approve the money. So I'm like, if. Uh, so next time you okay? So you off the show next morning? You woke up? You was gone? No, 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 no. You gone? Bye. No. Oh no. He wasn't, he wasn't that cold with it? Oh, no, he got my money. For real. I know, that's right. Yeah, oh, yeah, he got my money. Get my money, nigga. I'll be downstairs waiting. I know, that's right. F*** that. Lena came out, counted it out. Boom. Let's do the show. After that, he kept on doing the thing without and, and without without me. Okay. I was like, okay, cool, but you still, got, you still owe that money. I know that's right. Yeah, yeah. Run that, run that money. Oh, we doing it. Oh, okay. oh yeah, we Hollywood. I got, I got oh, my man. own cups oh, and shit, man. Here, crazy on some coke. Hey, let's. Yeah, yeah. Just relax, nigga. You, you relax now, shit. Yeah, drink it up, nigga. By the know. way. Um, um. Now, okay, that's the, the Pierre show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in the comments. Um, um, Put it in the comments. And <laughs> yeah. Drink. Go, go, go. But now, now here's what it hurt my heart, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. My man Robert Townsend. Come on, man. He put me in baths. He put you in baths. He I put you in parallel. But you call that nigga bitch ass nigga. No, 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 he on. did some bitch ass shit. Man, come on, man. What? What? <sighs> you know why you guys are responding to Kwame? <laughs> what? Because he's telling you the truth. Mm. And True motherfuckers that. is getting tired of the bullshit. Right. Robert Townsend did some bitch ass shit. Okay, what did he do? If I may ask, can I, can I get a little bit of it? Come on, I know Robert. Bill Cosby hired Robert Townsend to shoot his, Bill Cosby was set to do a TV show on Netflix. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I remember that. Mm-hmm. He reached out to Bill Cosby, I want you to do it. Right. Nobody was fucking Robert Townsend to shoot no, nothing. Special right there, okay. Special nothing. Right, right, right. Nothing. Marvel is not gonna ask this nigga <laughs> to do anything. Right. Okay, <laughs> nobody is. Right, right, right. Bill Cosby Took that, right? reached out. Mm-hmm. At the same time, that whole bullshit about him uh, raping bitches in 1655. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was the year. Out. Okay. Right? So, I'm like, and you know, I'm like, why, why isn't Robert defending this brother? Speaking up for him. I mean, did Robert, did you, did you, do you think, um, oh, no, 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 no. I was like, are you telling you? Cause I don't know. Which fuck you mean? You know, you, Okay, you think he did it, or you, did, or you know, no, no, I don't think he did it, but I can't say anything. Why? He's the only motherfucker that hired you. Mm-hmm. So I, that kind of, and then a lot of motherfuckers reeled back. Off of Bill Cosby for supporting him. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um. Real back, huh, did they, real, did you, you heard them say they was supporting him, they reeled back. No, or they, they, no, or they, no, no, or never support, it was never, quiet. Well, but maybe they think he did it, nigga. Shit, like well, Chappelle said. I'm, Chappelle said, oh, dude, we know he might have did it." No, that's some bitch shit. Cause to know he did it, the, the book house we did it. How the fuck he gonna listen to me, man? Back in them days, they did a lot of funny shit. Now that's yeah. what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, like, how did everybody doing cocaine? Okay, and 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 these pills. Mm-hmm. One thing you can't do is force a pill down the mouth. What I didn't hear, right? Because I, like, I, I was like, let me hear this shit. Okay. What I didn't hear is Bill Cosby bust in and put his dick down my throat. Okay, okay. Nope. Bill Cosby bust in, was choking me, and then made me do this. I, what I was hearing was, we was partying, and I took a pill. I'm like, okay. And then I was hearing all the same shit, but I didn't hear nothing. What, 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 I, what, what pissed me off was, I didn't hear anything from Canada. London, Atlanta. Bill Cosby travels everywhere. Okay, was it? I don't get that. He, he might. He might. He don't do it every city. So you, you, are you? Nigga, you ain't gotta rub. If you gonna rape bitches, if you wait a hundred bitches, you, you, you gonna rape only in one city? <laughs> no, not one city, but you can skip cities now. 
What the hell? So if you're so really, he was only raping bitches in Hollywood. <laughs> no, no, the easiest place to get pussy. Well, well, what, what's the what's easiest place to oh, well, get pussy? You get pussy in Hollywood, right? <laughs> I'm trying to get pussy in Hollywood. I don't get pussy like that. No, no, but hold on, hold on. Here's my thing. Some of them said that they went over his house, went over, went to chill with him and shit. Before they know, they was dozy and woke the fuck up, and they was like, they, they didn't take no pill. They said it was, they drank, drank a couple of drinks. They also said Michael Jackson was fucking kids. Oh, well, some people say that. I don't say he did that. I don't think he did but that's that. That's what I'm saying. It's, it, but, 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 why is it only the rich niggas that's doing this and not these, these niggas that. Because they ain't newsworthy. That's what a I'm broke nigga ain't uh, newsworthy. Uh, but, that, but, that don't mean, but that don't mean a rich nigga don't do it. But that don't mean a rich nigga don't do it. Ah, we got broke niggas do it and rich niggas do it. Ah, no. no, no. Uh, uh, only broke dudes do it? Ain't no, uh, you, nigga, ain't no nigga, ain't no rich nigga got to rape no pussy? Man, you crazy. Who? You, you, I, mean, I ain't gonna say who, I don't know who. Who? Name, name me five niggas that took some pussy. <laughs> oh, man. I, I wasn't there though, see, I, I can't Name me there. five niggas that took some pussy. I can tell you five niggas who could. Who? It gotta be black people who just could. Who? Branson, the guy that runs Virgin. If he he's single, he could take some money. What about the other dude? What do you mean? What do you mean? Brent, the, the, the billionaire? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean he could take some pussy? If he want to take, some, if, if he want to rape somebody while paying, he owns pants, a plane. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what that mean? If you <laughs> own a plane, you, you get pussy. You know how many bitches you <laughs> own a plane? But but hold on, in an island. But hold on, but sometimes you never play. But sometimes it's the one you want. Not any, you can get any of them. You can get any. You can get a lot of them, but you might not be able to get every girl you want. First of all, there's some girls you want you can't get. Biggie said it the best. I don't chase them, I replace them. <laughs> all right, all right. But, but well, you, you that's you, a real shit. Okay, but some people don't want to replace it. Some people want no, that. Ain't nobody want no pussy that bad. You crazy is all outdoor. Come on, man, Come on, brother. I know some people want that pussy that bad. No, they don't. All right, no, they don't. No, no, trust me. No, trust me. Okay, <laughs> trust me. Who you know that? Who, so, so you know some niggas that's raping bitches. I know of some people who've done that. Who? I, I, hold on. I know some females who've been raped. I do too. But it was never a nigga like that. Oh, man. I do too. Cut, uh, and the okay. first thing I say is, call me. I call the police. If you get I got raped. sisters right. and a daughter. Right. Call me. I call the police. And we'll handle that motherfucker. If, if you're going to call raped. the police, right. you got to go that way. I'm showing up. With the thing. <laughs> right. We cut niggas' dicks off. Whoa, 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 Fuck nigga. It. Yeah, I don't know. That rape shit. See, you understand, black, we don't come from a rape culture. Okay. You understand that? I mean, if you say we, that, we, I mean, yeah. The right. reason why you look like that, right. somebody down your line right. was raped. Damn. No, no, my mama white. Is she? Yeah, so she wasn't raping. What the fuck wrong with you? You got me think my, my, my tree is. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I let my father rape my mama. No, no, okay, no, no, damn, no, damn, no, I got dog. I let, let me talk about yeah. <laughs> but but <laughs> I got that wrong. But that don't wrong. think the slave. Uh, oh, of course, was, was, of course. Was, but they don't call that rape. Right, right, right. Well, but, but it was though. I know it was. But because they don't call it. But since we going back with Cosby, well, shit, let's take everybody to jail. But at least he raped. At least you, that was rape, though. It wasn't rape. So back then, yo, the, the, the white man ain't raped the, the slaves. Then that wasn't you rape. Hear this nigga said? Well, you, I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm asking this you. This nigga literally said the white man didn't rape no slaves. No, slave. I, I ain't saying. I said what well, you saying. You I'm saying, saying Bill Cosby in, in Bill in Bill Cosby case. Right. It was all. First of all, this nigga's in jail right now. Right. They let everybody out in right, right, jail. Right. I don't think he should be in jail. No, no, no. He didn't do this time. If he did it, he should be in jail. But we have no proof. There's no proof. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. He shouldn't be in jail for no proof. That's but what I'm fine. saying. There's no proof. But just because you don't know proof don't mean you ain't do it. If a, hold on. Listen if, to me. If, if a tree if, falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Let me, yes, it does. <laughs> How you know? If you ain't in there. Yes, it does. Because <laughs> there's, there's branches of tail bumps. <laughs> So if Bill Cosby <laughs> right. is raping bitches in six in the sixties, okay, okay, a nigga could drink water out of a fountain in the sixties. What? What's that correlation? Would you you high now? Are you, what was that correlation? You understand what I'm saying? No, no one in the crew does. Don't you dare. You think a white woman's gonna be scared to tell Bill Cosby rape in the sixties when a, a black person couldn't drink water out of a fountain? But that's two separate things, man. It's not. They were hold on. They were white people. They were white Did women. Did you get that? There were white women who dated black men in the sixties. Okay, let me let me let me give you another one. So it ain't so like I you forgot. He yeah. just said it. Your mama's white. Right okay. there, you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is I get it now. Now you know, you're saying? there was a white guy. Upset. Come on, Sam. <laughs> 
Faison, <laughs> come on. Gosh, Charlie. You're, you're not looking at this equal right, right. <laughs> Oh, um, wait, I'm listening. Emmett Till. Okay, I remember him, yeah. Remember that? Yep. Story of a black man going to town. Young black boy. And he whistled at a white woman. Right, right. Which was in a money lie. Money, Mississippi, back in the 60s. Which was a lie. Right, right. And they killed him. Right. Walked into his family's house, drug him out. Right. Nobody did anything. Well, okay, yeah. Remember and they that. killed him. And sure. Said he was look, looking at a white woman. Okay. In Mississippi, not Hollywood. The same time, I'm listening. You think Mississippi Hollywood is different? Man, 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 Bill Cosby was on a TV show with a white man. Julia had a TV show with a white black person. So in Hollywood, there's a little bit different mix and mingle, brother. Will y'all please talk to him? Yeah, somebody. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, this is my show, nigga. Will y'all please talk to him? <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> Will y'all please talk to this thing? All right, go ahead, man. What do you mean? Did you say there's racism in America? I ain't said it. Oh. I ain't said it. Well, you're a wild dude. I love you, boy. I can't believe it. You're, you're saying there's racism in America. I know there's racism in America, man. But I'm just saying everybody ain't racist. That's what I, I'm trying I, to say. I know everybody ain't racist. All right, then. So, I know that. So, so fact. So every, back then, right. you couldn't do certain shit. Oh, and okay. He, the reason why Bill Cosby doesn't cuss mm -hmm. is because he didn't want that getting out there that all black comics cuss. He was the first black comic that we saw, okay. that they saw. Okay. So he's like, boom, this is this is boom, boom, boom. I'm going to play it by the numbers. I'm going to play it like they play. Okay. Imagine him be the first comic to say, suck my dick. Right. We, we would have all been that nigga. But because he was clean and led that march, he didn't. Everybody was like, oh, okay, wow. This is this is a brilliant this guy's brilliant. I can hear what he's saying. He's articulate. He's funny. So you think this dude that has this type of mind that I don't want to shame my people at night going, let me get these bitches in my bed. Well by well, any any means necessary. But you can't say the that easiest it's thing power. You can get he in had Hollywood power. is he had power. Pussy. He had power. He did not have power in the sixties. Why, why, why didn't you want you to get power in the 60s? He was in a, hold on, he was on a TV show. He was the first black on a TV show. That's no power at all. Even amongst black people, that's no power. Stop looking over here, man. Stop, stop looking over you there. Hear, do you hear this, man? So he had no power at all. No. He had a mansion. He's an actor. Money. No, he's an actor. Actors have no power. <laughs> you hear this nigga? You hear this nigga? Actors have no power. They don't. The crazy is all outdoor, man. Okay, if an actor has the power, why they not doing? Uh, why they don't see a bunch of black films? Why, why you see them now? We have, we have, there, are, there, are, there are a lot more black films. There are a lot more black films. They might be on Tyler Perry or, or own who own Tyler who? Perry. Tyler Perry owns. But I'm saying, why, where, 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 where were they at in the um, '90s? In the where's the where's the ownership to the movies? Well, you got to grow into it. Is it now, now you got to grow into it. Well, well, time is moving forward though. No, no, the, but I'm saying power is money. It's ownership. Black people didn't own shit. Okay, okay. So when Bill Cosby got that power is in the 80s when he owned his television. And some of the rapes they say was in the 80s. Some of the women, come on now, some of the women say, some of the actresses say he came in there. Okay, for okay the show. say it was in the 80s. Okay. But the other ones in the 60s. Okay. He stayed consistent. In Hollywood? What are you saying? That you can't get away with bullshit? Look how long why, why, the Jew, Jew, what's his name? Weisman. What's his name? Why? Weinstein, he was doing that for years in Hollywood. For years, raping and grabbing and snatching the women, me too and the women, for years. So you act like you he can't do it a long time? Woman. For a long time. He was a me too. Whatever you call it. You know, he's getting that ass thing. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. Oh, now you on my show correcting me and shit? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to get your no, mindset. You know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? He was, you're, you're, you're saying he was that using his power to get vagina for years. The, what the f***? You think the whole thing is about? Okay, so back to Bill Cosby. That's no so, pussy. So Bill Cosby could do it no. for years too. Listen to me. You got to Bill Cosby only do it in the eighties because he had power in the eighties, and he couldn't do it. Why? In the 70s and 60s. Why are you doing this right here? Why am I doing this? Yes. For for likes. No, I got a voice. It, okay, you're doing it for voice, uh -huh. and you're doing it for what? To to put my people on. No, nigga, you're doing this for money. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't made no money yet. No, you ain't made no money yet. Right, right, right. Okay. But it, it's gonna come. Okay, well, I, I, okay. It's gonna come. Okay. And guess what? That's power. Right. And you say you ain't gonna part the pussy in Hollywood? 
Pierre with the new show in Hollywood gets pussy all day long. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a show now, I ain't getting the pussy all day long. Well, it's coming. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you got. You well, was working well, with Holly Berry, nigga. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember she threw a shoe at your ass. Yeah, she, yeah. Well, I, I see why she threw a shoe now. She's like, this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said, "Is there racism in Hollywood?" <laughs> no, I, I, I ain't say that. I ain't say that. Like, you trying to twist that bullshit around? <laughs> he said you know, that. I ain't say that. They're no. They're, no, listen no. To me. I'm just saying you have power. You can. Have, Bill Cosby had power enough to no, get that ass back no in there. All right, all he had right. no power. All right. Oh, did, did R. Kelly have power? You are you you defended R. Kelly. Did he have power to get that ass? So what you're telling me is these girls that were held captives, okay, brought there by their parents. Okay. They were gonna for shop music them. reasons. It could be for music. Hold on, you think that? Hold on, let me ask you a question, Faisal. You you think that their parents said, you know what? I'm bringing you over to his house because I want you to have sex with R. Kelly. You know, and, and hopefully help your career out. You, know, you think that you think that the parents said that? Hey, let's go over R. Kelly. We're gonna use this nigga. <laughs> and get what we can out of this nigga. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully, we get a million dollars out of this nigga because mm -hmm. we're, we're we're users. Okay. Um, if the girl is twenty years old and decide to suck R. Kelly's dick. Is that her pro She's going to suck dick. Okay. She's going to suck dick. Yeah, but... The only reason why some of them bitches are wearing panties is to keep their ankles warm. Woo! I like that one. I like that. But what about the 15 year old, the underage one? Ain't, I didn't see that. You ain't got no eyes, nigga? What you mean what you mean? I, the, the video? I, I, the video? You couldn't see the video? No, no. I don't know the video. I don't know how old he... They don't say how old he was in the video. <laughs> That's an old video. It's a video, nigga. Right, it's a video right. tape. What, well, hold on. He wasn't under fifty. He wasn't under eighteen. But how you know? He had a he had a beard, nigga. Shit, what you talking about? A full grown beard. That girl was young. The nigga ain't got a full grown beard now. Well, okay, now, but he had a, he had he had facial. He had a beard, nigga, back then. So beards don't grow at twelve, nigga. Okay. You old defending that, nigga. You old, I'm not defending. Old. I'm just looking at. It, I'm like, I don't just believe what white folks say. But I understand why you do. All right, thank you. <laughs> it's like they, they've been no, saying shit no. all the time. I believe a lot of stuff been twisted around, but you know. A lot? But black people are saying it's about him. No, they're not. So none of the black girls are saying nothing black about him? Black people are saying, wait a minute, you, you let a, a nigga that can't read hold you captive? What did I, what the reading I do hold you captive? You can't write a note, bitch! <laughs> Oh man. Help! <laughs> yeah. Help! She she I'm put. in the third room! <laughs> <laughs> you can't be like, hey, we going to the mall. Okay. She could have wrote, <laughs> wrote a grocery list and said help. He wouldn't know. Exactly. I don't know what you, Ooh. how you spell tomatoes? H-E-L-P? <laughs> Who the hell wrote this? <laughs> how you spell cereal? How you spell cereal? That's how you spell cereal. <laughs> right. He wasn't going to read the motherfucker. <laughs> I think he used his power to manipulate them young girls. Every, and get that ass. listen to me. Some of them young. Power makes women pussy hot. Okay, I can believe that. I ain't gonna disagree so with that. So you can't stop that. But hot and having sex with the person knows two different things, Are man. Am I, am I, <laughs> am I, am I? It, you on Pierre's panic. I don't understand. Am I some, is it, am I some, I don't understand this. You wild boy. That's like saying, if I was cut up with muscles <laughs> right? and right? took my shirt off right? and it made the girl pussy hot, don't have sex with her though. Well, someone, okay. What kind, uh, what kind, you, you, you fuck with them freaks and them hoes. That's your problem. No, I know. I, I fuck with all type of women. Women can look at a guy and say he's sexy as hell, but not want to have sex with the dude. Yes, that happened. That's possible. I didn't say, I didn't say, what I'm saying is rape. Rape is an act, is a very vicious act. Okay. That's why I tell any woman, if you ever think you've been raped, call me or call the police. But if you call me, I'm going to hurt the motherfucker. And, what, and, what, and what proof do you need? When a woman's been raped, trust me, you know. Who, 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 nigga, how you know that? Break it down for us. I, my white side don't know this. Women don't. Women that really been raped, uh -huh. nigga, are traumatized. They don't go on TV. So They're women, traumatized. Right, right, okay. It's, it's a vicious act. Can women hold on to a rape 10 years, 20 years? They do that. They do that because they don't know. It fucks them up. And it normally happens when they're really young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when they're 14 and 15. Okay. Right? Okay. So it's traumatized. Okay. And then and if um 
And you can tell that. You can tell that from a woman you see. If a, you know, if a she calls young you lady up. tells me that uh, she was. They can't be lying. You know them lying ass no, hoes. No, like, oh, them lying ass hoes. No, they no, no. No, no really? No. Face on. I know. By having a conversation, I can have a conversation with somebody and tell if they lie. Women don't. Women don't lie about the, that. It's not. It's not a. The Me Too movement is fucked up. Mm. It's all fucked up. Okay. Because now it's like, when we go to work, we got all kind of protocols. Don't look at someone's eyes longer than three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> and don't look at their breasts. The bitch's titties is all out. Cover your titties up. I'm a man. I got a dick. That's what dicks are for. But that gives you a right to do whatever you want. And say To look at some bitch's titties? <laughs> okay. Are that, you serious? Okay. Bitch's titties? Okay. A female. Okay. It, right, see, right, you right. want to play that high yellow right, right. nigga <laughs> My but mother's no, I, white. No, no, Listen, I feel you though. If if, <laughs> if a woman come here butt naked right now, are you not gonna look at her? Well, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, butt naked. <laughs> now you gonna look at her? But no, butt naked. If you can't, you don't see how these women dress. You're right. But well, but what happens? She has nice big titties and she has a a, a, a nice shirt on. A women, nice shirt on. women that are conservative know how to dress when they have big breasts. Right. I'm not saying they have to. Someone well, they have to because if they don't, you're gonna look. Well, that's what do you think is cleavage is, nigga? It's skin. It's, it's a part of the. It's the middle. Yes. Of, it's the middle of two breasts coming together. That's clean. yeah, and yeah, and you're you're gonna look at that. You're a man. You're naturally. But looking and lusting is two different ways. Come on, Faith. You know the difference between like, okay, she cool. Damn, look at all that movement. I didn't shit. say make a noise. I said you are gonna look. Well, well, everybody's gonna look at everything. Yeah, but you're right. I hear you. Me too is getting to the point where you gotta be worried about what you. Here's my point. I tell about me too. I tell women about me too. Remember the sex appeal used to get you over? That ain't being a, that ain't gonna be done no more. Niggas ain't gonna look at you no. People ain't gonna look at you no more. Are they scared? So, people right, right. are scared to interact with people. Sure. And we've been fucking for years. Right. They've been fucking in offices for years. Oh shit! Right, right. I'm I always mean, sexual up. sexual harassment is how that nigga looks. No, sexual if he, if he, harassment. If he handsome, there you go. You know, there he, you go. That's why I say how there he look. There you go. If he handsome and you attracted to him, he can say, "Man, you got a nice dress on today, Cheryl." He, he thank you. Let him be ugly and say, "You got a nice dress." Oh on. my god! <laughs> oh my god! Right. Like no, no. So that's that's a part of the whole uh, bullshit. Right. I, like now, but if someone's being disrespected, right? Because uh, legally, it's not sexual harassment until you ask twice. Really. You, you, you don't know if she's interested in you. She's been looking at you all day. Is that, legal, is that a real legal thing, man? Yes. My, my people, look that up. She, she fades on tripping or not. No, right. for, I, after we have to go to these classes. It's okay. We? When you, oh, when you shoot the television show. Oh, okay. I don't fit you. Yeah, I, my bad. <laughs> I ain't been on one. We ain't got to go do classes here, but we oh, know about oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's, oh, no. It's, it's uh, COVID classes. Oh, yeah. And then um, sexual right, harassment right, classes. Right, 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 right. And it's like, it's... Uh, I say, why even do a sex scene? It's, it's stupid. Don't take it out. Because? It, it, be, listen, guys, uh, don't look at anyone. Oh, it ain't that bad. Don't, it ain't that bad on the set. Come on. Are you kidding me? Really? You can't even look. Somebody's having a sex scene, you can't look at you. You got to be a look. You got a cameraman. You should be there looking if you don't have anything with that scene. Okay, that, 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 I can agree with that. But if you're a camera person and yeah, a, if you're a camera director, person, you have to look. director and stuff like that, yeah, but makeup, if hair, lighting, sitting around going, yeah. Oh well, see, look at you, look at you. You sound like a pervert, nigga. Look at you, <laughs> look at Holly, yeah, Holly. yeah, look yeah. At look at, and rub your leg too, that, all that, right, all that part. It's natural, but I'm, no, saying, I'm saying, they, they, I said you shouldn't be there. Right. All right, I get that. Okay. Well, but um, around the set, like there's this director, um, she's the shit. Her name is Don Wilkerson. And um, she's just smart. You know one of those smart women? A sister or a white girl? She's, she's actually from Canada, so she's black. Black. Canada. Okay, well, okay. Black shout out. Name, shout out. Name, yeah. Okay. Sister, it matters. It does. It does. I want to see black women working, man. Shit. Black women ain't directors. working. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, directors. I need more black directors, but go ahead. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so she's very smart. And um, um, I was like, you know what, Don? I, I think I have a crush on you. I said, oh my God, Ooh. don't say that. She says, no, Faith, I trust me, it's okay. It's, you're not, you're not. I, I feel you though, yeah, not, but yeah. You, I'm like, uh, but she's like, what, what, you can't even uh, fire anyone now because they go straight to that. You can't fire nobody? Or? No, you fire somebody, he tried to fuck me. What? Oh, oh, she's just saying that way, that way. I think she couldn't fire you for trying to say that no, to no, her. No, 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 she, uh, was, she, was, she was just, right. we were, this is our, our personal joke. 
because um, she's just really, you know, you get something smart, and I was like, I think I have a crush on you. Mm -hmm. I remember saying that out loud. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. She's like, trust me. But if you have an assistant or something, and uh, she's just fucking up. You can't just fire her because the quick all she gotta do is say, uh, "Face on, um, trying to fuck me." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it gets me. Okay, that's what the um, the Me Too movement is. All right. So they even with um, you know. I I I let me ask you something controversial. Luke. No, well, I'm gonna tell you how I feel, but I'm gonna hear you first. Dress in a scene or not? Would you wear one? I'm gonna tell you the truth. Uh, if it's funny. That don't make you, uh, whatever. I've seen um, Eddie Murphy do it, and mm -hmm. this shit is just brilliant. No, that's but it has to be. I've seen Bill. I've seen. Um, do you know an example of one that wasn't funny? Do you give me an example of why you was like that wasn't even worth wearing a dress? That was stupid. Um, um, who wore a dress and wasn't funny? Movie. I've only like Flip Wilson. Right. That shit was brilliant because he was that character. Richard Pryor wore a dress. I don't remember when Richard Pryor wearing one. He did one in um. What, what's that? When he did his life story, Jojo dancing. He got on stage and shit and had a little mini skirt thing on and a pot and all that. Come on now. That was. Yeah. 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 Come on now. Black sad. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. He sure did. He was. <laughs> And it's funny because it's funny before you came on, I asked a couple people about that. I said, I'm gonna ask Faison that. What y'all think you're gonna say? A lot of people said, no, man. Faison, uh, I said, I, I, I told him, I said, man, you, Faison, Faison is a more complex person than you think. I think he's gonna say, it he ain't won't. the dress yeah. that, that is it's the sketch that you're doing. Okay. It's just a sketch. If you think that, it, it's niggas out here sagging, sucking dicks. Damn. Okay, well, that, that's okay. So it, it, it right. ain't the dress, it ain't the dress. It's right. rappers, I, I shoot a motherfucker right. five times, I, I sell <laughs> cocaine. Right. When they leave there, right. they sucking cock. Wow, wow. So it, it's not the dress. What? No, no, we're good, brother. Yeah, yeah, it's I a, like it, yeah. <laughs> yeah the room got quiet and shit. <laughs> a uh, a pin drop, yeah, 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 fin yeah, did we fin somebody in here? <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's like, uh, by the way, right. mm -hmm. <laughs> I know no. this is Atlanta. So <laughs> hey, 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 easy, <laughs> easy. Move. But no, but no, I, I'm like that too. I, I, I feel you because I'm always the type of person I said, I'd wear a dress in it. I'm not gay because here's the thing. People say, you make the black man look bad, blah, blah, blah. But I said, but why haven't you come in the room shooting up everybody with a gun or, or pimping women in movies and shit? You know, shooting niggas up. That's okay. But if you wear a dress, all of a sudden I'm a homosexual. No different. If I, if I play a, a guy who shoots a gun in a movie, I ain't no gangster. I ain't out here killing people. So why can't you play the same we thing? We leave too much on entertainment. And, um, mm. Especially, uh, you know, we have so many... Uh, Different um, taboos, right, right. in the black community sure. for no reason. Good like um, the dress, I've never. If it's not funny, I'm not wearing. There you go. I'm okay. But if the that. shit funny, right, nigga, <laughs> it's, on, it's on. I'm putting it on. Putting <laughs> if, it's, if it's gonna make my mother laugh, right, right, right. right. I'm gonna tell you the first time my mother told me, she said, "You cool, but you ain't funny as that Tyler Perry." Woo I said, who? <laughs> yeah, you heard it. Tyler, not Eddie Murphy. Right. Tyler Perry. She had come from a Tyler Perry play, and they was, oh, it did it, it did it, it did it, it did MRT. And I'm like, what? I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Hello. Hello. I said, whoever wow. this Tyler Perry nigga is, right. is going to be a billionaire right, because right. we got my mama reciting him. Right, 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 right. So I started studying Tyler Perry. I was like, "Oh, I get it. He know his audience." Now, there you go. That's true. He that, know yeah, yeah. his audience yeah. is niggas, gospelish, you know, church no, folks. Niggas. He got niggas. Ain't no thugs in there. Yes, he do. Really? What? Right. He represents from San Diego. The, from oh, San Diego the, from the hood I'm of San Diego. San Diego I'm taking you from San Diego. I'm taking you from San Diego. I'm taking you from San Diego. Y'all have that for about ten minutes. Oh come on! No. I'm calling my white side. Okay, oh, right, right. from UC I, San I, Diego. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> Why can't how do I get the calls back? Vista. I'm going to Vista. Ocean side. But go ahead. So, um, so they, if you if you look, uh, at he he's got every representation up there. 
Uh, then you got the old nigga with the weed. I was right. a big <laughs> I smoked the weed. And mm-hmm. I was, he got that. And then Madea is a gangster. In a way, I got no, you. No, no. She, a gun, sweet weed. Right. And her, right. The, her partner smoking the weed. Right. He, he got all niggas covered. Right. Believe it or not. Right. Okay. Okay. So he has an audience of. I, I thought he, he knows. Go, so. He services his audience. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I, I feel that. Now, I'm telling you, what I, was, I was impressed by him. I did my research. You've done over 60 movies, homie. I Six. I think, do you feel, I know you had 10 more. My bad, my bad, my, my, bad. my, my Wikipedia is slow. Was, do you think that you've been like, I, I can be honest, like kind of overlooked as a good actor, as a great actor? There's a lot of actors that ain't do the kind of work you put in, brother. I'm going to tell you the truth, man. Uh, you been elf, nigga. You been everything, nigga. Big worm. Yeah, they act like I don't shit. exist, really? but the right people call. Right. So, um, I was laughing the other day because <laughs> um, Jamie Foxx got an Oscar for um, first animated for that cartoon, yeah, Soul or something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then my mama called me. It's like. Uh, they wasn't giving black Oscars out back then, brother. <laughs> no, but I'm saying they said it was the first, the first black animated cartoon. Oh, he did say that. Yeah. Oh, that ain't right. I thought it said for okay when the Oscar. Yeah, oh wow. Ours was in the movie theater. Right. Of course, I remember it. So, um, yeah, my mother called. I said, no, nah, they. It's, but uh, it's not overlooked. It's just I'm uh. I'm um, pure cocaine is hard to snort. I know that's right. I mean, I don't know it's right, but I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. know. No, I don't know. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cocaine a hell of a drug, nigga. Come on, Hollywood a hell of a drug. <laughs> that's how I look at it. It's like, you, you, so they got to step on it. Right. Before they start right. tooting it and get around. So it's like, but I've been, you know, my, I've been. Now, out of all those 60 films, let's be real. Do you think it's Big Worm is you only really, you really known for the most? Do people holler at you no, about Big Worm? No. What, whatever, whatever, char- whatever character they yell out. I don't know. I ain't around you that much. Elf. Elf. Placements. Um, they yell, they yell out. Nigga, they yell out. Now, you see me around niggas. Right, right. That's it. The niggas think that's the only movie I've ever done. <laughs> right, right. This comedy, oh, you ain't did that since Big Worm. I'm on TV now, stupid. That's funny. The guy that runs this company, yeah. he was in Hawaii when you did Blue Crush. He was an extra. Was was that E? Nah, John. John. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was an extra on Blue Crush. Is that right? He said you acted a fool too, and I said nigga, you was off the chain. Oh no, we we mean like bad? No, we're just off the chain. That's all. He ain't, oh no, we. Oh no, we, listen. This is years ago too. Because I did that movie. Right. Uh, Damn, man. Let, let, let your bills. See, low, that's man. when you fuck it up. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> was like, no, he wasn't. <laughs> was because I did that movie, um, Brian Grazer. Um, oh, man. Big time producer. Yeah, he was like, you need a TV show. While we're doing that movie, and we were having such a great time. We were Fiji. Right, and, right. Now he said, yeah, Hawaii, obviously, because yeah. he said Hawaii. So uh, he says, you need a TV show. I was like, oh, hell yeah. Right. Yeah, I need a TV show. So he says, when we finish this movie, come to my office. And you know Hollywood talk. Right, uh, office, right. Ryan Grazer. This is but Ryan Grazer is a big time director, though. I mean, Man, producer, big, producer, producer. Big, the Eddie Murphy stuff, all that Shrek, he did a whole bunch of stuff. Go ahead. So we finished the film. It was a week after I got home, and the phone rang. He's like, didn't I tell you to come out of my office? I was like, oh. Wow. I, I didn't think he was. Serious. So, so he says, come here tomorrow. <clears throat> I get there. Uh, and uh, David Nevins was in charge of television back then. This is uh, me. David Nevins is telling me, uh, uh, wait in his office for a second. Uh, we're going to have a meeting, and then um, we're going to tell you what. So black guy comes in, and I go, hey, how you doing, man? I'm uh, uh, I have a, I have a coke. Can you give me a coke? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. He's laughing. He go get the coke, and he sits down I'm like, oh, fuck this thing. Oh man. You got some tater chips too? I'll see if they got some tater chips. I don't, I don't think they have tater chips. He's going to get the tater chips, and then David Evans comes in and goes, uh, Kevin, sit down. We're going to have the meeting. So <laughs> he sits down and he goes, Faze on. Um, this is Kevin Hart. Wow. Get your I'm, chips and shit and juice and drinks. <laughs> and, I, and I want you guys to do a TV show together. I was like, I come to me, Monty, who the fuck is this? Right, right. I've never seen him before in my life. Right, sure. sure. Ever. Like, who the fuck is this 
little black nigga. <laughs> so David goes to get Brian. I'm like, nigga, who is you? He's like, oh, I'm Kevin Hart. What it was was Kevin was doing a deal, mm -hmm. and uh, they saw him do stand up, and they said, uh, if, if anybody did you want to do a TV show, who would it be? And he said, Faith on Love. Kevin Hart said that. Yeah, that's dope. And then. Um, was that, that was that that was before Friday after Friday it's after Friday right? That was that was yeah way after Friday. That was oh that's why man shit nigga Friday Big Worm nigga who would want to work with Big Worm? No, I mean nigga, Big Worm. A lot of people to work with. It wasn't from Blue Crush nigga. It was Blue, he ain't seen Blue Crush. <laughs> no no he ain't seen Blue Crush. <laughs> okay. but, uh, matter of fact he might have. No 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 it Big Worm. Um it was um <laughs> it was definitely something I, I whatever it was right. Um but Brian had worked with me too so. uh I was like, I just work with Faison. I'll make that happen. So, uh, we, the name of the show was called Big House. Right. Somebody lived in the basement or something like that? One of y'all yeah, in the basement? Like, yeah. Fresh Prince in Reverse. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, it was great. We've been we've been tight ever since then. He, he just, that, Kevin's one of those guys, to me, has remained the same guy. That's very true. That's very true. The I'll same, say about Kevin Hart. Yeah. Same guy. So whatever you like or dislike about him, it's been the same. Same. It's been the same. He ain't changed. So I, yeah. I hear everybody talking this. Well, he not uh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I yeah. was like, y'all give all these motherfuckers passes, but don't give him a, right. a, a pass. I don't right. understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's foul. It's just and, he, and he looked out for a lot of people. He tries to put stuff together for a lot of people. So I will give him a lot of yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, I give Kevin Hart a lot, a lot for that. of motherfuckers. Regardless if you think he's funny or not, he don't work for you. That's fine. But inside the industry, he's helped out a lot of people. So Cut I will your say that. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. the one. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. <laughs> all right. So, so let's talk about Friday. Now, let me get into Friday real quick because oh I'm mad because I wasn't in that month. Like, okay, shit. Everybody oh in my mom. I remember, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I went to see the screening of it. Though It, it was at. In Hollywood, that that, that um, that Cine, golf ball, that golf ball, Cinnadrome, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. It was at there, and y'all had an after party like down the street from there. So we tried to sneak in, me and Red Grant and my cousin T Rex, and all tried to sneak in the to the premiere. I want to get in and see it. When it got out, people were coming over and just saying, "I'm gonna tell you what they say." They're like, "Chris Tucker will be the star." You know, we know we knew Chris Tucker from the streets and mm -hmm. stuff. You know, he got to make it. He about to make it. He about to make it. He about to make it. I was like, "Really?" You know, back then you had to fuck Chris Tucker. Like, yeah, I'm trying to be a star. You know, you never want to hear some other shit by another nigga when you kind of trying to come on up, up, come and shit. Come up, I mean. So that happened. But then the movie came out, and brother, Chris was funny, I ain't gonna lie, but you stole the scenes, mother. And you stole some scenes, brother. No, I'm not saying because I'm gonna tell I you 1,000. We. And DJ Pooh was funny, motherfucker. He wrote, helped write that shit, too. We, we, when we first saw that movie, they sent me, first we saw, um, we saw it in, um, at Raleigh Studio, me, Hugh, Gary, Chris and Jeru Tillman. Oh, Jeru, my man, shout out to Jeru, Jeru oh, Tillman. Yes. Oh, wait, he was doing the room, but Jeru always got Yeah, Jeru, Jeru. I've, I've been doing Jeru. <laughs> He'll find his way in the room. I mean, yeah, Good we, dude. We Good were dude. there, and um, we were looking, we, after the movie, we was like, the fuck did we just see? We was like, oh, Chris like, oh, they fucked that man. We <laughs> <laughs> gonna never work in Hollywood again. <laughs> so, uh, and Q was like, I would have shot this differently. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> too late now. Right? Well, it is what it is. I don't right. know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck. Right? We was really all like, the studio caller says, "Hey, we want you to go to Howard." I think I heard the story. And um, and show it screen there. Screen is there. Right. I think I heard about this story. Right? And I was like, "Why do you want us?" They said, "We want you and Chris to go." I'm like, "Why?" Oh, they, they want, if it takes, we're going to be the ones that, uh, I don't know, they're going to be No, you're going to do your own. It's all good. It's all good. Face on crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I took you to Howard, you say you wanted to go to Howard. They sent yeah. us to Howard. Mm -hmm. And me and Chris was like, we just getting drunk and, you know, getting high. We were like, you know, whatever. And they said, what are we going to do with it? What we gonna do when they play the movie, man? I said, uh, shit, you know what we can do? It's right for the movie down. Let's just duck out. They had a citizen's body. Hell there. no. Yeah. I said, just, just yeah, because when they, you know, so the movie, we duck out. And um, I'm, uh, we walk, it's on this alley, and we hear 
I mean, not an alley, but a hallway mm-hmm. leading from the um, a, a, a auditorium. And then we hear, ah, I'm like, damn, they booing us, nigga, let's go. Mm-hmm. He's like, they, are they booing us? I was like, I, think, <laughs> I don't think they booing us. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't booing, they ain't booing, they ain't booing us. <laughs> this lady comes running out, where are you guys going? They have a, they're standing on their feet. They're, they're uh, standing applause, like, they applauded them? Right. I said, man, uh. So we go back and we sign autographs, all, everybody's autographs. That's the first time my aunt was like, I heard that. Uh, and um, and that's the lesson I learned then is like let the, the audience, the, the audience, public, yeah. Because I don't, you know, you don't know. Well, well, back then I used to always see y'all two, y'all hung together a lot around that yeah, time. Because yeah. every time I, I go to a comic club, I saw you two, yeah. and we heard about them. You know, I, I saw the saw the movie, and uh, but I heard even before that. I said y'all hung out before that too, right? Y'all was hanging out I'm before here. that. Huh? I mean, it was out of high school here. Okay, okay. I would see y'all in the comedy clubs together and shit. Y'all was kind of bougie amongst us. Y'all ain't want to do I Oh, nigga, you ain't want to do jokes with us and shit. We, we on a list to sign up. Y'all just come to watch the comedian. Like, nigga, you're one of us. Man. You ain't come to right. watch a, you and, yeah, we don't want to do that. Why, 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 why? Yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. 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 Why, what are you doing? Why, we don't do jokes over here. Yeah, right? we, we ain't going up with y'all. y'all. Y'all on the list, nigga. We ain't no list for us and shit. I was like, damn, man. Up next. But, but uh, yeah. <laughs> And then y'all went, y'all went to do uh, money talks. That was a funny. That jail scene was funny as shit. Right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. How much made up was that? You know, you yeah, touched his leg. Wow, man. The timing of y'all too was just beautiful. The way he was talking, moving on. Yeah, we, yeah, like, man. We, like we, um, the scene was supposed to be. They wanted some big dude to chase Chris around the, the thing. Right. The shit cell. I was like, that's that ain't no right, cool. right, right. And um, at the time, uh, Chris had fired the director and hired um, Brett Ratner. What? Yeah, yeah, fired the director. I don't want to work with him, man. <laughs> That's real. He went to go hire. Hell no. Brett Ratner. <laughs> I know Brett Ratner. never directed a movie before. Just a video of a New Yorker director. He's, yeah. So, wasn't he one of his, um, Nothing But Love? No. No, that wasn't No, him. that wasn't him. No. So, um. He fired him and y'all was in the scene in the jail. He fired him and Brett goes, Faison, uh, we have a scene tomorrow. Um, and Brett was, and he still directs like this. He goes, I don't know what the fuck to do. And Chris, um, me and Chris went to the trailer, smoked the joint. <laughs> sure. Smoked the joint and, we're on. and we sit in our hair like this and we just laughing. Uh, I go, nigga, I know what we can do. I know what the fuck we can do. He's like, what? I said, tell me a story. <laughs> and he goes, what, man? I said, just tell me a fucking story, nigga. He said, okay, yesterday I went over there. That's what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He said, he said that for real, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, what you doing, nigga? Cut, nigga, cut, nigga. Cut. Oh, <laughs> he got it. He's like, right. oh, 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 shit, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. So, uh, <laughs> That's that's where they came from. We was uh, nigga. When I saw that scene, I said, you know what, Faison, you'll wear a dress, nigga. No, nah, 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 that's no, nah, that shit was funny though. That shit shit was like, me, listen, nah, we had we had to shoot. The, <laughs> look, we had to shoot that shit. Um, Eighty takes one way because we what? kept laughing oh, so hard. That's a funny scene. We kept. I was delusional from laughing so hard because. Every time you shit that you, uh, nah, you um, yeah. But, you, man, man. but your look though, your look over at him, smile, give him the grin. That was all. That was classic, man. You know. And I'm a comic, so I know when somebody gives me a role, say do something, and you'd come up with a little jewel. That was a beautiful jewel y'all came up with. But man. that's what that's, I, I gotta say. That was just me and him playing off each other. No, that's good. Working. And see, I like when y'all would willing to do that. Some people, some, some, somebody might be like, nah, I ain't doing all that shit. I ain't doing all that. Because they, they, yeah. they're not willing to work. There that's you go. Like, there that's you go. What the, just like, it's, is acting is 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 a it's an art. Yeah. It. Yes. Yes. It yes. ain't like yeah. I'm gonna be cool. Right. <laughs> right. Like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be cool, man, and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna do this. Uh, and that's why I don't think you get props. I'm seriously because I can see characters in your acting. You know, when I see you, you're not you're not I, the I same person. I work I can harder at it. I work harder at that than um, the stand up. But I appreciate that. But no, for real talk. Real it's talk. Like I I approach it differently. Like we about to shoot a film now. And um, I'm I'm trying to see how I'm approach it, how I'm approach it, how I'm approach it, because the approach is bent to me is how I get into it, the wardrobe, right. the approach, right. uh, the di- It's not about the dialogue, because like like this, 
says a lot. Right, right, right. Said, man, that's why I say you're a good actor. But I just, like I said, I don't think you've gotten the props. But um, because I know mo a lot of comedians go, they just take their stand up into a scene. Same, uh, like, you know, same cadence and everything. I'm like, eh, nah, nigga, you nah. ain't acting. You ain't taking no meets, no moments. used to do that. And he, Come I, on, I, I just yeah, saw yeah. him. He stopped. Did you see um, Spinal? No, but Spiral? No, I heard it was good. That and, but he also did Fargo was good. Because let's be real. Chris, I mean, I thought he was a talented stand-up comic, yes. but that acting was, ooh, was a little, well, a little tight. he was, uh, he, he, I don't know what you're doing. Everything is like that. You know. Ain't fuck with Chris, man. <laughs> nah, nah, but hey, he on top of shit now. I, I, I respect but him. But he, he switched that shit up. Right. Spiral was like good as fuck. You right. see him do this shit and roll with it. But Fargo I mean, was the shit too. Right. No, he killed it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Like, so I got mad the, love for him for that's that. That's the growth. Right. But I know right, what you're saying. Like, right. Right. He used to do his act. I would hear him going, and hey, what the fuck is that? Right. Right. That's sure. That's a goddamn rib. A rib right. is a. But right. when he was dope, you got you got to say when he was doing Pookie, mm -hmm. he was doing a little bit of his act because he could right. get away with it. But he did, he killed that one though. Yes. Yeah. But he, but he was doing. This but one. after that, he became a stand-up in all his movies. I felt like you know what I'm saying. I yeah, felt like no, that. You know, definitely. a lot of that kind of stuff. Definitely, but okay, right, I'm gonna give one quick topic before we let you roll. I appreciate you giving me time. Um, when I was in South Africa, I, yeah, you was yeah. making a movie. Yeah. And then you also I damn near got a wife back then. Yeah, I, I got married. You, in you, South Africa. I remember I was out there like Faison is marrying a woman here. Faison got his living here. Like what the fuck, man? He, you left good old America for some South Africa, man. What the hell? They, these girls out here, these black women ain't good enough for you, nigga. Right? Big Africa. worm didn't want that worm out here. Trust me, me and listen. <laughs> she's my ex now, but right, we, right. such a beautiful girl, woman. Right, right. right. Such a, and um, I don't think I was ready to get married. I just got to South Africa. Was like, I gotta take one of these home. <laughs> one of these coming with me. Yeah, yeah, I can feel you. you. Yeah, yeah, go but, with you. Um, yeah, woman yeah. In South Africa. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Oh, my God. Now, what would be a kind of woman that you like? Because I, I got a lot of women watching me, man. Give me, give, give me a kind of physical description or I'm personality. I don't have no physical. So you can be skinny, 110 pounds? You, you cool with that? It, it's, it's the brain. Nigga. This nigga here, my, my white side, your bullshit side now. The brain. I swear to God. It ain't nothing physical? Listen, I'm 53. The fucking uh, years is dead. Oh. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> now it makes sense. Though. I didn't know that part. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Me knocking some pussy right. out the butt. Right. 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 But me having to talk to this woman and have a life with her right. is I ha it has to be a brain. An ethnic group? Does it matter? No. So she be white? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know you can't say nigga that much around her if you say well, you know, Why not? I mean, come on, it's a white woman. You call me when you get back. Uh, okay. <laughs> you want you that? <laughs> you I need that. You African American, you. Okay, okay. So any ethnic group, long she's smart, um, uh, age, 40 plus or whatever is the age? Listen, don't do nigga. Don't R. Kelly. Don't R. Kelly. Okay. Huh? Yeah. My, my daughter is just turned two. Nigga, your fucking years are still around. What you talking about? No, no I, I shouldn't have been fucking. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, my uh, daughter is okay. two, okay. and she, um, so going through that whole bullshit with the wombat. Um, wow, nigga. Um, whoever who comes in your life now has to has to deal, deal with, with that. that. Right, 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 so right. So it's right. like baggage. So they have to be a, a, a person. Um, understandable. Understandable. Okay. Understands. Um, so we're going over 40 with brains. Understandable. Doesn't matter Matter the ethnic group. Likes your humor. And uh, it's. Doesn't so, have to be like my humor. Oh, no. My girl's got to like my humor. If, if no, girl don't laugh at me, no. then they ain't going to work. I'm going to tell you no, right now. I'm, tell I'm you, petty like that. Um, shit. I'm, gonna be, I'm over here telling Joe. She's like, mm, okay. Hell no. Not, but, <laughs> shit. I don't get that, what you just said. Yeah, exactly. No, no. <laughs> you, get up, get up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he asked for the money back, oh my God. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, you should do some shit like that. I'll pay you the money. I'm getting my tight jeans ready and my Jordans. I'm going to go, baby. I want the young ones. No, but go ahead. That's, so, that's, so. So that's our illusion is because we're so used to dating these young girls. Right, 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 right. right. And we think they still looking. They like we they we they daddy. No, they, yo yo you they daddy. No, I don't play that nigga. No, How do you know? Fifty three. Yeah, you they daddy. No, I ain't nigga. You, if you fifty, I'm they zaddy. I'm they zaddy. No, you you, you, you <laughs> zaddy. That's not a daddy dress. But that, <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you, you got a sweat. I got a sweat. You got a sweat. 
<laughs> Spoke coat. Spoke coat. Damn, man. You got your hat like, hey, y'all. Y'all ready to go to get some Chuck E. Cheese? Uh. Uh. <laughs> you ain't right, man. You, you, you are. They look at you like, and I get it. So I was like, oh. Uh, I don't even go to strip clubs no more. What? No. You, man, you, man, you ain't the same. You ain't the same. I knew. I, yeah, I remember yeah, shit. Yeah, listen, strip clubs, most of those girls are 22, great body. Right. And. You know, since you can't do nothing with him, I will, why I look at him? You know, yeah, I ain't gonna marry him. Uh, you just giving him money away. Right. But you was doing that when you was young too. You just got to the realization no, no, no. now. Back in back in the day, oh, we, oh. no. Oh, you was doing some work. You was doing extra hey, work. We was. Uh, yeah, we oh, okay. to get out of here. Oh, okay. We wasn't paying him to strip. We was paying him to leave. Yeah, right. Right. This guy. <laughs> like, uh, you, you done uh, stripping? Uh, that's funny. You crazy. That's what you, you feel like taking him to Waffle House. Mm-hmm. I've been so, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't no need to go home tonight. Uh, you ever been to Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> we can stop off at the Georgia Terrace right now, you know, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Over um, there, and, yeah, and get on that. I, just, I, I used to tell the woman, look, you get anything from me before I nut. Anything That's you hilarious get it thing. before I nut. Right, right. Once you nut, it's over. <laughs> Once I nut, what? The, the wallet closed, <laughs> My nut opened like that. Soon I nut, the wallet closed. <laughs> Once I want you here, oh, 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 shit. About that trip to Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> that ain't happening right now. <laughs> uh, and my wife, and my wife. I didn't know my wife, but yeah. Did I tell you I have three kids? I, I, I mentioned that. You Listen, sure, I man. think, uh, we, oh, man. Yeah. You funny, Faisal, man. Hey, look, I appreciate you coming through, brother. On some real shit. I want to keep all your time. Oh, yeah. Look, for real, though, man. Yeah, give him a round of applause, man. Yeah, a real dude here. <laughs> all right, here we go. Do we, we play a little something. We play little games and shit. We petty like that around here, motherfucker, okay? All right, we play this game called Spin the Wheel. Everybody loves Spin the Wheel, man. Uh -oh. This is where we spin the wheel, and whatever it land on, you got to do, okay? Mm -hmm. you can, for, if it land on here, lost your virginity, you got to tell us how you lost your virginity. Now, you're 53. Go back to about 12, nigga, okay? About 20, 41 years or shit. <laughs> Maybe that. If you have a celebrity crush on somebody, you know, you pick the phone and make a celebrity crush call, you got to get that person to your crib or you to their crib in two minutes. Whatever you want to say, how you say it, how to get down. Okay. Or you got to uh, tell us your biggest lie, you know, you ever told. You in Hollywood, so you told one or two maybe. Uh, well, now you a real nigga, so you might have never told. Well, a lie you should have told maybe. How about that? A lie you could have told or should have told. Um, one is trading places with anybody and why. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, who would you, and who would you do and why. Other one is a sexual passage. We got a book right here that uh, you got to read out of our sexual passage. It's kind of like a Zane book. Or... We got one with money, man. Got money up too, okay? Got money on here. So you spin that sucker and wherever it land, y'all give, give, give a roll call. Let's get a roll call. Let's get a roll call. Get Gavin Ring. Go ahead. Oh, spin it. Yeah, you spin it. Where it land, what you gonna do, brother? Oh, shit. Oh, hold on. That's right in the middle. How you, how you lost your virginity? I lost my virginity. Oh, oh that's shit. Easy. Uh, it's easy. Yeah, oh, damn, dude. okay. All right, so it's two right, minutes. Right. What, what, what went down? Um. Staying with my partner Earl because I got kicked out of the house. Okay. Now, how old was you? I was probably about 13 or 14. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm, okay. Uh, Good age. I'm doing um, stand up at the comedy at the at the comedy store. So uh, damn, that's young. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, on Wednesdays in California, you should uh, have half days. Okay. So. Um, in order to stay in school, or like I said, I got kicked out of the house. I'm staying at Earl's house. Uh, you come home half day early. Um, they let you, Earl, Miss Jean, Jeannie Hamilton, let me stay there. Mr. Hamilton, let me stay there uh, so I can finish school. And um, that was nice of them, too. Yeah, they knew, you know, what I'm saying. You know, mm -hmm. It was like, stay crazy. Them. So, Lupe. Went to I had I got kicked out of my school. Had to go to Crawford, which was in Earl's new district. Okay. So Lupe lived across the street. And Lupe was uh, Lupe was probably about sixteen. Oh, Lupe's a female. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm yeah, saying Lupe, shit. Lupe, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. Then this man named Lupe, Lupe Fiasco. Come on, my bad. Come on, play it. Go ahead. Lupe is normally a. Uh, uh, okay, we know a, flu a female Lupe, Latino. Lupe. Gardner. Um, she lives directly across the street, and she goes to. She's in one of, in my class, and I and I'm like, God damn, she, she thick, you know, she mm -hmm. like Beyonce thick, and Ooh. That, right? She's in my um, uh, damn it, literature class. <clears throat> so 
we coming home from school, we walk down here, I'm like, damn, she lives right there. Right? Mm -hmm. So we talk, she said, Oh yeah, I saw you in my class, blah 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 um tomorrow uh I'm getting a ride home from school. Uh my um uncle's gonna drop me off. I'm like, okay. The next day she comes, drops, you know, the uncle drops us off, whatever. Friday, she comes over. She goes, I'm thinking about not going to school today. I'm like, Ooh, nice. Okay. So what you gonna do? She goes, just, just hang out. And that was, you know, Ditchie mm -hmm. was like, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, okay. So we hung out and I, I faked like I was going to school and came back to uh, Miss Hamilton's house. And Earl knows this. And knocked the boots with Lupe. Mm. So you went down like in a, you took it to your, uh, the bed you were staying at? It was Lupe. Yeah, took, yeah, took it upstairs. Now she was 16 and you was 13? I was 14, about 14. Was she built, built? She was built. Lupe was 14. I was not 15. I think mm. I was maybe 15. Uh, Crawford. Yeah, I was about four, 15. Mm. Comedy, the comedy store started when I was 14, so I had to be about 15. Yeah. Is, is that, um, did y'all continue to do that? Uh, a couple times. Now, yeah, looking back at hindsight, did you do a good job at first? Uh, no. Oh, shit. No, that's why we had to do it again. Like, Damn, really? That's what the reason was? <laughs> I was like, uh, I was all over the place. Like, because uh, we was looking at porn. You know, you. you uh, oh, you, shit, back then. Back then, we would listen to uh, Rap Dirty. Do, 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 do. You don't know what that is. No. Rap Dirty. I've never heard boop, that. Boop, 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 boop. We had like Super TV back in, in DC metropolitan area. But what it would be, it would be blurred. It would be like scrambled oh, for like no. five minutes and then it will stop for 30 seconds. Oh, we had and then it scrambled again. So nigga had to like, <laughs> ski. <laughs> <laughs> we had, we had, you had to wait uh, for the unscramble and shit. <laughs> we had, um, what's her name? Um, Vanessa Del Rio. Oh, nice. So we was like, oh, this is what I'm going to do with Lupe. Ooh. Ooh. And didn't work out like that? Oh, it did. Oh, oh second it did. Time, oh, yeah. oh, second time. Second okay. Time. Okay. Because you know you hear them like, oh! Ooh! Mm -hmm. Lupe, <laughs> Lupe. Chupa my vinegar. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I like that. I like that. But damn, yeah. that's good. Okay. So that's how you lost it. Okay. Oh, cool. That's good. Give him a round of applause for that. I got it. But before I leave, brother, you always do it. And I got you the right color. Okay. I think that's the right color. I had a blue bag, too. I got the right color? Okay. Got the red. <laughs> okay. So it's a swag bag. We um, gray, actually. But <laughs> oh, oh. Look at it for some product. Look, look, look what's that open up, man. It's some people who support this, my show. Oh, the Let's juice see. spot next door. No, 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 no. That's, a, that's another juice. What that juice spot? That's my girl does it. Homemade. Yeah. What's that say? It says, uh, That's a good stuff. Wow. Hey, what? What? Wow, it's um, vegan. Vegan L LLC. Wow, it's vegan LLC. It's, it's, it's a bomb juice, man. Sure, yeah, try to. What got the a bracelet. Fuck is Come, on. This? Come on, I got, I got other stuff. Oh, that's for your girl. Eyelashes, man. You said you might dress like a woman one time. I got eyelashes for you. For your girl, man. <laughs> Minks by uh, wet sugar. Yeah, that's it. That, those, those eyelashes. What else you got? Oh, look in there. Come on. Uh, okay. Oh, bracelet. Okay, you rock the bracelet. What did I say? Okay, what this is, um, that's Celeste. I think Celeste bracelets or uh, something like that. Thank you. I'm very grateful for your wellness. Yeah, check out your bracelet. You like that? It's black. It worked for you? You wear them kind of beads, man? I wear them. I rock them. I see what you're doing. This is like a commercial. Yeah, yeah. Give me, no, my guess. I appreciate you coming through. Shit, let me I see. Mean, I mean, uh, Put that on. Let me see that rock right. Okay. Oh, come on, phase on. That's right, right. That's proper. Little, little crystals. <laughs> okay, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah. And we got a, we got a shirt that you want to give somebody small, a lot smaller than you, cause my my main shirt ain't come. It said a black man is not my op, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not my. I enemy. like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's a small, and uh, I may find him. But I like right. I like I like the message that goes with black man is not my op. There you go. Let your girl, yeah. let your hundred pound girlfriend get that man. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? That's a small right there. The hey, new Lupe. Yeah, there you go. Phase <laughs> on that for real, man. And I mean it, gentlemen. I, I got love for you. I love you, brother. No, man. For you, real, you man. Trust me. Trust I know me. in the beginning we get you start off rough when we was young, man, acting foolish and crazy. We was young and right. full of testosterone. I feel I mean, you. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? We was eating wings. I feel you. I feel you. All kind. Of, but you know me. You but know, you know, right. 
I know you over the years. I got to know you. Like, yeah, you know what? You know, so I, mean, if, and, and, and I don't know. If, are you still, you're not with the no. wife? Mm -mm. No. No, because you, you, of you, nigga. I, I, I wasn't mad. It wasn't, that. but no, yeah, it wasn't because of me. You should have whooped the nigga ass. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. You, you held me back, girl. You could have you broke off loose. You could have broke loose. This nigga damn near snatched the door off the damn back. The back. Ah! <laughs> but no, nah, it, was, it wasn't that. No, nah, it wasn't that, man. But I just think. Uh, and I, I, I mean, think I need to go and go trace my shit. Yeah, and clean up some of the shit, nigga. Well, I've been. Yeah. You have, you have cleaned like, up some did stuff? Did I ever... Hi, which right. camera? I'm Faison. <laughs> have I ever disrespected you in a way that you felt that you didn't deserve it? But the what? motherfucker from the airport, don't you call me, nigga. <laughs> Columbus is mean like that. But no, man, I appreciate you coming, man, through. I swear, I appreciate you uh, taking that time out. Faison, nothing but success for you, brother. I mean that. Hey. You're going to have it, but more success of that. I ain't Listen. never envious, jealous, none of that. If a nigga speak bad about you, I speak up for you, brother. Dead I know. Ass. I, dead I, ass, man. It. All right, yeah, dead ass, okay? I, I, I know for a fact you have. All right, well, I appreciate it, man. Again, kill him up here uh, in Atlanta, you know, every city you go to. Support my man, Faison, man. Shout out to your, uh, that camera right there, your social media handles. Right now, right, uh, right there. Uh, or, or the other one, right in the middle, right there. Yep, that one right there. I don't know them. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Well, look up Faison. Things I love. My cash app is. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love, there you go. Shit. <laughs> say what you gotta say, brother. Shit. Well, we will try to find someone and put it in front of the, in front of your face if you don't no, know. I, your I, yeah, I, um, your Instagram. I think you guys, you guys will do some editing. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We're keeping it. Yeah, we're keeping it on this one. Well, I had you here, man. I appreciate it. No oh, number success, y'all. Thank y'all for watching PS Panic Room. Every week we have a special guest. This was no different, man. I love y'all. Keep supporting it, man. Don't forget the notification bell or hit the subscribe link, link man. Please hit it and uh, keep supporting, job. man. I appreciate it, brother. Real talk. And we out. Boom.